What's up everybody, this is Joshua Casper and welcome to another Ableton Live video tutorial. Today we're going to talk about this Max for Live device that I was put onto in my Facebook group. Link to the Facebook group by the way on the blog post, you should go join it if you're not already there. But it's a Max for Live device that allows you to block values of any slider or knob or anything like that and you can block them selectively. So for instance here I've got this kick drum that's just on a quarter note loop, but maybe I wanna every now and then during my live performance switch it up to an eighth or maybe a sixteenth, but I don't wanna have any values in between like the one sixth value or a one twelfth. I always want it to be a, a quarter note, an eighth note, a sixteenth note, and so on. I don't want any of those values in between. And this allows me to skip those values. And then what I've done is wrapped it up into a group and put it on uh, this one macro knob, which I would then have mapped to my uh, control and that would just allow me to, you know, switch up my drum pattern every now and then. Obviously, this is a simplified idea, but I just wanted to share with you this device because I, I think I'm going to use it a lot and I figured you might too. So I'm just going to go ahead and play this little loop I've got and then just pay attention to this knob over here. And I'm going to be switching up the drum pattern to the, in time with the beat and skipping over those uh, fractions in between the quarter note and the eighth note, for instance. So. So that's a, a very simple idea. Uh, that's just what I thought of to, to show you the gist of the device itself. It's a free download, link to it on the blog, but I'm gonna show you how to get this working. So what I'm gonna do is just delete this arpeggiator and delete this rack and go ahead and show you what I've done. So on the MIDI effects, I just had an arpeggiator and for the Max device, I'll just go to the user library it's a MIDI effect, drop it on there, boom. So the first thing you're gonna do is decide which parameter you want to skip values. So I'm just gonna hit map and I'm gonna map the rate knob here. So I'm gonna click map and click rate. And as you can see, it's now grayed out and I can't do anything with it. And if you look at the uh, dialog box down here, it says it's mapped and so it's disabled. So the next thing you're gonna do is now this controller, which goes from zero to 127 moves the knob. If I move it down, you can see the knob moving over here. So that's why, how I can change it. Now for this particular channel, which is just my kick, I don't want it to ever be like that. That's just silly for me in this particular instance. So uh, the zero value I want to block. So then I just click the block button over here and you can see that it's added the value down here. Now. I can move the slider up until I get another value and it's 196 and just hit block and move it up and it's 164 to hit block. Now, as you can see, the values are 0, 1, 2, even though the value up here is 23, really there's only three values, the, the 64th, the 128th and whatever it was after that. So I can click in here and just add them manually if I wanted to. So I could go one, two, zero one two and it's going to do the same thing so i don't actually have to go through the time consuming process of doing this i can just write them in down here so there you go i've got that done i do want a 30 second but i don't want a 124 so i'm going to hit block i don't want a 12th so i'm going to hit block and i don't want a sixth so i'm going to hit block and i don't want anything above a quarter note so i'm going to go a third block and a half block and then one one block. So now those are all blocked. Everything that I don't want is blocked, including the ultra fast ones and the really slow ones that I don't want for this particular project. And some of the ones in between, which is the really cool part of this, because otherwise I could go into the map mode of a macro knob and cut off, you know, the, the, the ultra high and the ultra low. I could do that in there, but this allows me to skip values in the middle, which is just sweet. So right now um, I could still use this to control it, but I find this to be a little the, the responsiveness is a little slow. So what I like to do is right click and then group this and map this to a macro knob 
and now I can I can go through a lot quicker however I still have these values here at the bottom as you can see over here nothing's moving between let's see between like 58 or between 45 and 0 nothing's happening to the value of the parameter over here so I can still go into map mode and bring this up to I don't know whatever it was 30 Let's see if this works yeah so 38 and now i have less values to go through and it will the knob will be more responsive i won't have to crank it very far and the same thing for the top over here and bring it down to let's see when it goes over about 100 click map again set that max value to 100 and then come out and now the knob is more responsive so i can do uh, some crazy live tweaking without having to twist the knob too much before getting a result. And like I said before, I could just do that without the value blocker between the quarter note and the 64th or 32nd, whatever it was, 32nd. But what I can't do using map mode is jump over the 6th and the 12th and the 24th like I'm doing here. So if you look at the rate, I'm gonna go from a 4th to an 8th to a 16th to a 32nd and skip over those other values in between and which is just super cool and it's really lightweight and it's really easy to use i just figured i'd share it with you guys and you can go ahead and play around with it links on the blog you know what to do see you next time peace